Hello guys, uh, this is the second video of Matrix. All right. Now today we'll discuss about uh, addition, subtraction, and equating to matrix and an equation. All right. Now uh, this is what we have discussed in uh, the first video that the order of the matrix. The when you do any calculation. Uh, in uh, matrices, the order of the matrices are very, very important. Why? Because to add, to subtract, and to equate the two uh, matrices in an equation, the order of the matrix has to be same. If it is not same, then we cannot do any calculus. Okay? So let me explain you with an example. Now, first, addition. All right? So let's take two matrix, 3, 5, 0, and 8. Let's take here 3, 1, 8, and 9. So if you look at this one, we're adding the two matrix. So what we do here is we add first element with the first, this is first element. Now we add with the second element with the second element. We add third element with the third element, and we add fourth element with the fourth element. So how to add? 3 plus 3. First, first. 6, then second. Second. 5 plus 1 is 6. Then 0 plus 8 is 8. And 8 plus 9 is 17. Keep this in mind. When you write the element, you need to write the gap. Okay? So if you want to write the gap, then uh, the meaning will be different. So if you write it this way, then the meaning will be different. Yes, sir. So this is the correct way to write the matrix. All right. So this is how we add. Okay. We add first with the first, second with the second, third with the third, and fourth with the fourth. All right. Same with the subtraction. Okay. So let's write minus here. Now here also first with first. So three minus three is zero. Now sign plays a very important role. So board mass is very important. All right. So 5 minus 1 is 4, second, second, the third, third, 0 minus 8, 0 minus 8 will be a minus 8, and 8 minus 9, 8 minus 9 will be 1, 9 is greater, it's sign is minus, so it will be minus. So sign plays a very important role. So this is how we subtract, alright? Same with the equation. Now, when you equate the two matrices, alright? So, equation, now let us take A, B, 3, C, and W. And here, let us take 2, um, 8, 9, and 0. Now here, so this is what I'm talking about. The, when you add, subtract, and uh, equate, the order of the matrices has to be same. For example, when you add, if you write 1, 2, 3, and 4, and if we add this with 1 and 2, now if you look at this one, the order of this matrix is 2 rows and 2 columns. And here the order of the matrix is 2 row and 1 column. Now since the order are not same, then we cannot add. So first, first, we don't have second, second. So we cannot add. Alright? So similarly, in an equation, also, we can equate only if the number of the, uh, the order of the matrices are same. Now if you look at this one, first we'll equate with first. So A is equal to, so we can directly write the value of A as to B is equal to 8. So what we are doing here, we are equating first with first, second with second, third with third. So 3C is equal to 9, so C is equal to 9 by 3. The calculation is same, okay, we have to use both marks, cross multiplication, okay, the calculation will remain same, okay, and W is equal to 0. So this is how we equate. Now, okay, one more is there that is called your scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. This is not uh, uh, the multiplication of the two matrices, but the multiplication of a matrix, any matrix with a constant. That is called scalar. Scalar means any number or a constant. So we are multiplying a matrix with a number or a constant. So let's write it here. So we are multiplying this matrix with 2. Now what we do here is we multiply all the element by this 2. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6 and 4 2s are 8. So this is how we multiply a matrix by a number. One more example. Let's write 3 minus 2 1 and 1. 
So if you multiply this with 1 by 3, then we multiply this with this one, this one, this one and this. So this will be a 3 into 1 by 3 minus 2 into 1 by 3, 1 into 1 by 3 and 1 into 1 by 3. Alright, so whatever value we'll get, that will be the required matrix. Alright, let's try to solve some examples so that you get a clear idea. Alright, let's take an example, number 1. Now here is given that if 2 into a matrix is given plus another matrix is equal to this, find the value of x and y. Now if you look at this part, we are multiplying a matrix by a number. So this is a scalar multiplication. So what we do, we multiply all the element by this 2. So 2, 3 is a 6, 4, 2 is a 8, 5, 2 is a 10. I'm repeating once again, when you write the element, please leave a gap. Otherwise the meaning will be different. Plus 1, y, 0 and 1. Now this will be your 7, 10, 0 and 5. All right, now, so if you look at this part, now the order of the matrices are same, so then we can easily add so 6 plus 1 is 7, so 8 plus y, 8 and y we cannot add constant and the variable, so we'll write it 8 plus y, so let's put the term inside the bracket. Now 10 plus 0 is 10 and 2x plus 1, so what we are doing here is first with first, second with second, third with third and fourth with fourth, so 2x plus 1 is 2x plus so see how I'm uh, leaving a gap. So how I'm writing the matrix, how I'm arranging the element in a matrix. Okay, so keep this in mind. Otherwise, everything will get wrong. All right. Now what we are finding is x and y. Now we have x. We have x here and we have y here. Now uh, this is an equation. So we can equate, equating the element on both sides or the matrix on both sides. Now x is here. Then you can write. So first, second, third, fourth. This is the fourth element. First, second, third, fourth is five. So this is equals to five. So two x is equals to five minus one. So two x is equals to four. Now x is equals to four by two. So the answer is two. All right. Similarly, y is here. Now eight plus y is equals to second with second. So let's take eight to this side. Now here, as you can notice that. Uh, I've used fourth element and second element. But what about the other two? So if you look at this one, if the first element and the first element are not used, or the third or any element are not used, but you have to check or you have to make sure that the value of uh, the element which are unused are ha or has to be same. So if you look at this one, seven and seven, so it is correct. And 10 and 10. So this is also correct. So if it is not same, then you have to go back and you have to see the calculation. What mistake you have done. Alright. So here we have used fourth element and third element to find the value of x and y. But the other two will remain as it is. So we haven't changed the other two value. But we have to make sure that the value will remain same when you are equating or finding the value of x and y. Okay. So this is the first uh, example in which uh, we, uh, it uh, gives you the idea of addition also, scalar multiplication also and equation also. Alright, so let's move on to the second example. If A is equal to this matrix and B is equal to this matrix, find 2A plus B. Now the first one you can do it very easily, 2A plus B. Now let's substitute the value, A is 1, 4, 2 and 3 and B is minus 4, minus 1. Remember the rule to write the matrix, you have to leave a gap, alright? So this is your 2, 8, we are multiplying a matrix by a constant, okay? So this is a scalar multiplication, so we need to multiply all the element by a constant, so 4 and 6. Now plus, minus 4, minus 1, minus 3 and minus 2. Now what we do here? First with first, alright? Now here, 2 plus into minus. Now here, in this type of sum, you can do it instead. Now this is 2 plus into minus is minus 4, uh, 8. 8 plus into minus is minus 1. Now here is 4 plus into minus is minus 3. And here is 6 plus into minus is minus 2. So if you do the calculation, the answer is minus 2, 7, 1 and 4. Right? Okay. Now in number 2, 
right? And number two, what we do here is C. We are finding C plus B. What is the value of B? B is minus 4, minus 3, minus 1, and minus 2. And here we have 0, 0, 0, and 0. Okay, so this is also a matrix. Matrix is also a part of an algebra. So here also we use uh, the same calculation. For example, if I write 2 is equals to 8. Now what we'll do to find the value of C? We'll take 2 to this side. So the answer will be 8 minus 2, which is C. So same method we'll use here also. So what we'll do here is we are finding C. Now this one, we'll take it to that side. Uh, here this will be a 0, 0, 0, 0. Now keep this in mind. The element inside the box will remain same. Now, this is positive matrix. Now, the sign will change. So, it will be your negative matrix. Alright. Now, 0 minus into minus is plus. So, 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 minus into minus is plus. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 minus into minus plus 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 minus into minus plus is 2. Alright. So, this is how we solve. So with these two examples, I think um, it'll be, you will be able to solve okay, any question that is related with addition, subtraction and uh, finding the value of the variable if we are equating the two matrices. Alright, now in the next video we'll discuss about multiplication of matrices.